Hello and welcome to an out of breath me. And the last couple of videos I've been on my own, haven't I? Exploring. I'm out with old Stainy today. Told him I was over this way and he's come over to meet us. And he was here last week. Last weekend he sent me a picture on Facebook and said, guess where I am? Thinking he's gonna catch me out. No way, I can't believe you're there. That was my plan for this weekend. But he only done a little tiny part of this place. I'm gonna show him and you a lot more of it. Now I've been here before, probably three years ago, and I did a video and I put the link up for you. And I videoed it all with a mobile phone. I was here with Mrs. C. I've not videoed it with a mobile phone, but I shot with a mobile phone in proof that you can get good photos on your phone. Uh, today, the weather is looking pretty cool. We've got some really thick, moody, dramatic rain clouds that could drop on us at any time and lots of patches of sunlight, which is giving us some really nice dappled light. Now we're actually at Blinu Fistiniog, if I've pronounced it right. If not, it's quite close. There's a big lin up here or a lake or tarn or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we've made our way up the steepest bit, but there's a lot more to explore as well. If you go right to the top where we're going to go and I'm going to take Steve, there's some more quarry houses and buildings and patches of water and stuff like that. It looks pretty good. Plus there's a couple of little photographic opportunities on the way up as well with some nice slate fences and things. The water's quite high on the river side of it because it was raining like hell last night. The van was bouncing around, it's banging on the roof. Then the smoke detector went off this morning because the battery had gone flat. So good old Steve here brought me a new battery to shut that up. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Stick with it, stick with us. And I'm gonna show you around this place because it's pretty awesome. Look at this going on behind me. The sun shines out. Oh, it's going again. We are out. Look, here he is, old Stainy. Chris Staines, all right? It's Chris Staines Photography, I think it is. I will put a link up for him because he does try, even though he's rubbish, he does try. Um, <laughs> gives me an excuse to come out of someone to pick on him. This is what we're looking at. Look at this for a, for a lake or a chlin. Uh, it's actually, a, it'd be a reservoir, I would have thought. Uh, probably a man-made one. Uh, got these nice little barns down the side here. There's a couple up on the top there. Now I have shot them in the past when I've had sort of, sort of mist and atmosphere. And when we got here, or about an hour and a half ago, this was covered in thick gruesomeness. But there's not a lot there now. So I'm not gonna get my camera out just yet. And we've got this big whole building as well, which you would have seen in the other video if you stopped and had a look. Uh, that's pretty cool. But from where I was yesterday, that looks tiny now. So we're gonna make our way across the water. There is a little bridge. And then we're gonna head off around the side and go up to the interesting parts and go and have a look up that way. Because there's a lot more to this place, like I said, than this first little patch. We've got some, looks like we've got some miners coming up the track as well. All this lot going for an adventure. You going down a hole somewhere? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna take these lot down a hole by the looks of it. There's lots of caves and things around. So if you ever fancy that sort of thing, cause I don't, then <laughs> give them a shout over here. All right, mate. Yeah, I've seen them before. I've got talking to them in the past, you know, and they go down these little tiny holes in the ground and ooh, I'm not sure about that. So this is the bridge. There's our bridge, that's what we've got to go across. Nice and, there is a lot of water, more water than I've normally seen. So, it's all pretty good and safe. There's no worries about coming across here. Now this is one of these places, this would be a place where, you know, like I've talked about my electric bikes in a, in a couple of videos, you could use them for this. You could easily ride the bike up this path. You could easily get it across this bridge and you could easily follow this path down here. So it's a perfect place to come with it. In fact, I will bring it over the winter and uh, we'll do some tests on it and give it a bit of a run. I think, I think, I think, I'm somewhere close to where I need to be for my first shot. We've got this fantastic, really cool uh, slate fence or wall or barrier, whatever you want to call it. And it is amazing. This thing's been here such a long time and the workmanship in it is just brilliant. But this is the chapel. And this is one of those places that Steve didn't see last week. Let me flip you around. In front of us there, you've got the old chapel and that nice pine tree. And if we can get it right, like sort of like now where the light's hitting it and it's darker behind, it really does pop. And we've got all this light coming down the side of this fence down here. So 
somewhere around here i'm going to set my camera up have a look and find a nice one that's got a bit of lichen on it some nice gnarly top ends and uh, get myself my first shot just got to wait for the light to go across the clouds that's all but yeah i like this let's get this one done i've taken a shot but i took it handheld and i've put my camera on my capture clip um reason being is it was too easy of a shot to not to take handheld there was no need to put the tripod up i just had to wait for the light to be right i got my leading line from the bottom left and the bottom right uh, and what i want to do now is get a bit closer i've got the wide angle lens on so i want to try and exaggerate the fence so by getting closer i can go wider and then pull all the fence out so uh, that's the plan and i am a little bit closer now steve's vlogging behind me so if you want to see the other side of the vlog check out his video when he puts it out it'll probably be out before mine because this is going to be weeks so you have to wait and see mine after and go back and see it i don't know i'm lost now aren't i right so we are a little bit closer now this is uh getting closer and closer to us you can see like that just there where it's light behind and dark on the tree and that works better still so uh, i think we're gonna have a go at that but like i said i want to come over close to the fence i want to exaggerate this this wall and look at this gnarly stuff on here this uh lichen that's what i want to try and use and sort of make that bigger and bigger so i'm going to get a, another wide shot there and we're going to head off over and i'm going to show him what's over in the trees there because that is really good Right, so the camera's out i've had a couple of handheld shots just trying different things now steve's steve's actually stolen mr heaton's idea he says it's his idea but i know he's been watching mr thomas heaton and he wears a bum bag now and puts his camera in his bum bag when he's got his small camera or a fanny pack as they call him in america yeah i can't get over saying that though it doesn't sound right does it um so he if i walk around this way you should follow me no because you're not on facial let's come back here let's uh, be professional like i've been told lately that i'm not very professional but who cares eh right so if you see him over there look he's got his nice fanny pack round his fanny pack area <laughs> and uh, yeah so he's actually going handheld as well but he's actually got the tripod out and he said he feels really alien like um using his um tripod is not using his tripod he said it doesn't feel right well this is how i started originally um, just shooting handheld i didn't use a tripod and only sort of getting into the vlogging and taking the landscaping more seriously have i started to use a tripod and now i love my tripod i really do but again like i say i've started to use my capture clip uh, i think i robbed that off of heaton's idea as well i think he has it on his waist or mr baxter or one of them they, they carry their camera around now i've done it in the past but i sort of got out of the habit but I thought I'd just stop and explain this shot to you because you've got these massive big pine trees that look really good and you've just seen the photographs of the leading lines from the fence and everything. We're now right on top of the chapel and it's right in front of me, it's directly behind you as you stand there. And you've got the light coming through and casting the shadows. But what's nice is you've just got these two trunks. So I've gone in quite close. I've got a leading line from the wall from the bottom left. It goes across the image to the right and then bounces you back into the frame. Now it's filled up with this little chapel, but you've got these two trunks and I really like the fact that the two trunks are on their own and i've cut the top off i just i just think it works i think it looks really good now i'm bracketing and the chapel is cutting into the top of the mountain slightly but i think it works handheld's fine on the shutter speeds we're shooting at this you know with this sort of light it's not a problem uh, especially with the image stabilizer as well it shouldn't be an issue at all so yeah i really like this one so i'm gonna put this up on the screen for you now have a look at it give me your thoughts do you like it with these two trunks in um or are they distracting i just think the balance works brick and wood bark you know it's texture so uh yeah i like that one right onward see he's got his tripod out now. he's got to put all his tripod away i'm ready to go see ya <laughs> right so we're gonna hang a right now i'm gonna take mr staines down here down here stevie steve come down this way i'm gonna take him down here to have a look at this old building because it's really good me and denise once talked actually me and denise once talked about doing a wild camp down here so if you're up for it it would frighten the life out of my mind but i do fancy doing it one day and there is enough room just to be able to pitch up a couple of tents so i'm going to take you into this little building 
and then we'll have a nose there probably get a shot if we can get the light coming through and light in the front of the building i've just taken a wide one again because the camera's in my hand i can hand hold it quickly bash off a few photographs whether they're keepers or not or whether they're just you know snaps for the sake of snaps it doesn't matter he's still taking them and while you're taking the rubbish and while you're taking the more mundane boring stuff you might see or get the opportunity to capture a really good one and i think that's more important the little chapels now over there that looks pretty good from a distance and all more of a long lens shot but it's more of an environment from this direction so right we're nearly here now have a look at this so we're now inside this house and it was quite some house we've got a massive big fireplace there so i'm assuming that's like maybe a, a kitchen area we've got another big fireplace there there's another fireplace above it and another over and over there so obviously you know this is where the floor was quite a low house and then you look through this hole here which and you've got another fireplace down there which maybe that's even the kitchen and another fireplace there and one above it as well so there's a few fireplaces in here oh and look two more so it's, a, it's definitely a definitely a warm cozy place if nothing else but it needs to be in out in the country like this but what a what a great little place really really nice right guys take a look at this how shameful totally and utterly shameful is this if you know anybody that's done this shame on you that is the reason we are being stopped going to places fences are being put up farmers are getting angry and stopping them to walking on their land camper vans aren't allowed to park and stuff like that that is the whole sole reason it's happening because of stupid idiots dumping their rubbish shame on you guys tripod set up as you can see i've got the camera there's me wavy lens just there um now i've got a slight problem with this shot because i'm almost looking up at it i've brought the tripod up a little bit higher so i'm trying to get a bit squarer onto it but i also want to keep some of the grasses in below it um because it just had a little bit more to the frame now i've just noticed there's a, a a slate post in front of me that used to have a fence on it by the looks of it there's some old metal iron sort of screws in it and it's just clipping the edge of the window frames so i'm going to have to move slightly just as the light comes out which is typical ram the tripod back in the ground and to re get it straight again the light's on it right now and it's just about to go so i'm going to hit the shutter button quickly i want to get all the light on it if i can and I'm gonna to have to bracket, but the dappled light coming through the trees looks really good. Put me two second timer back on. I'm at 10 mil, I'm quite wide, and I've got a slight lead in, but it's all about that dappled light. Now I can't see whether my shadow's in it. If it is, I'm just gonna step back slightly and take another one. That way my shadow's not in it, and if it is there, I can clean it up afterwards. Yeah, I think that's all right, but like I say, in the, because of the because of the wide angle lens it's making everything sort of look up and spread out but it still looks pretty good but it's another it could be a keepsake you know keepsake shot it's one of those that you never do know really i'll take a couple more just because the light's pretty good on it you've got the dark sky behind it so you've got this really dark gray sky that's coming over the top the sunlight's lighting through the trees and all this dappled light all over the front of the slate building really good that and if you do look on that thin post you'll see the little iron things sticking out of it which just adds that bit of character right onwards to the next one I'm not sure if you can hear me. Wind is blowing. Wind is blowing right in my face at the moment. I'll see if I can cover the mic up, see if it makes any difference. Oh, we've got this little, this little gap between the slate and we're at the top now, or nearly, not so much the top, but where I wanted to come. And uh, it's got really windy in this spot, which is fine because it's cooling me down a bit because I'm melting, I've got my coat on and the sun's come out. But this is one of the areas that the miners go down. There's a couple of mine shafts. There's one on the left as I walk past, and I think there's something on the right-hand side. But this is the top section where you start to get a few of the, the houses. 
and it's quite a nice day it's, oh look at that for a waterfall that wasn't here last time I was here like I said we had some big rain last time last night look at that <laughs> that's got to be worth a shot slate building straight lines lead-ins a little peg sticking out of it waterfall in the background you've even got a bit of spinny foam down there which will probably turn into too much mush but Got to be worth a photo, isn't it? Surely. So I know that I shouldn't really do it, but. Uh, I climbed over the top here and uh, climbed down the slate. It was a bit slippy in places, so I had to go really careful, make sure every foot counted. But I wanted to have a look down this hole and see if there was any water in it. And there isn't, it's just a hole. But I did get right up close to the waterfall. <laughs> oh, stainy pants is up there. Sorry, not stainy pants, I shouldn't call him that really. Right, we've got to make our way up there now. Have you got the radio on? No, he's not got the radio on. Right, we've got to make our way back up, so I'm going to get back up this slope. And, uh, yeah, go and catch up with him. But I do like to have a bit of explore. That's what I just climbed down, that. Bloody idiot, and I? Right, I'll see you at the top. breeze coming across I've made my way to the top now and it's definitely cooler up here I'm ready for some water I've got my water filter I might even have some out of the lake out of the river Steve stands was up here where Steve is he's looking at the waterfalls looking pretty good so the moral of the story is come up here when They've had a good rain shower. I'm stuck now. I should have come down the other bit. Hang on, I've got to jump. Here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, you've got some nice waterfalls up here. Looks promising. Let's see what we can do with this lot. What a great little expedition this is. <laughs> That's tempting, wouldn't it, to poke him in the bum and push him in the water? <laughs> Maybe next time. Myself another shot I've set up. I showed you Steve, didn't I, standing there. The only problem is I've got a white sky and I really don't like that white sky. Um, so I might have to tilt it down and maybe get rid of the sky altogether. See if I can get rid of all of the sky and just have the waterfall. I don't know what that looks like. Actually, that doesn't look bad. No sky in it whatsoever. Tight on the waterfall. Coming from the bottom right hand corner, leading through the grasses. I've got three seconds. I'm going to slow my aperture down. I've gone down to 7.1. And I'm going to focus on the rock on my third side. You'll see it in the image. Uh, and then everything else should be okay for focus. It's given me 1.3 seconds, which is still quite smooth for water. It's a bit fluffy. Um, but it, it'll probably work quite nice. Let's have a little look. Yeah, there's some nice movement in the water. The rocks are nice and sharp. Actually, that's not a bad exposure at all, that. Um, there's no light. The light's gone in at the moment. We're behind the cloud, which is good because it's helping the water situation. I'm going to go slightly brighter, 1.5 seconds. It's just making the water a bit frothy. We've got this nice lead, the nice flow going up through the water line. I just had a drink of water, used my soya, soya mini and, uh, and a nice drop of water as well. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to bracket this. I, like, I want to keep some of the sky in. So I'm going to bracket it. I'm going to drop my exposure down. I'm going to go onto bracket and I'm going to try and get 
a variation in exposures and this should give me enough to keep the sky in because there is a little bit of texture up there and I think if I could just keep that bit of texture in the sky it might look quite nice so that's a normal exposure and I'm going to have two overexposed ones and then two underexposed ones and they're the ones I can use the sky on oh I'm going to have to go even look I'm going to do even slower still I'm going to drop my exposure right down I'm going to go two underexposed and then I'm going to go three underexposed just to see if I can keep that sky let's have a little look just about yeah I've got the sky detail so I should be able to blend all them in it should be fine and now the sun's going to come out and totally ruin it what I'll do just out of interest I'm going to go back up to f11 and I'm going to take one with the sun out and you can let me know then whether you like the one with the sun out or the one with the sun in it's just gone back in as well then that's quick I think I might have missed that but did I get it oh actually actually I've got a little bit of light on it that's really nice that was really good that was quite lucky that let's see if it pops out again you might just get here it comes a little bit of light just to see what difference this makes with the sunlight out because what it is giving me is it's giving me the sky behind because everything's coming to a similar sort of um, exposure right very nice oh well, that's nice yes I like that I like that definitely going to turn that into a good little shot that one polarizer on full six stop filter on the front and uh, yeah another nice little shot done right I'm going to go and find some more slate buildings now which is what I come up here for and uh, yeah enjoy this last this next one making our way up now and we just come across some more waterfalls well not come across we knew they were there we knew where the water was coming from um just gotta watch some of these rocks because it's got some moss on it but yeah just having a look up here and there's some fantastic looking waterfalls and some big flat stones as well this looks like a bit of a boggy area so i might get some damp feet but very pretty very very pretty oh squelchy very squelchy very very squelchy eek <laughs> keep going don't stop if i stop i'll sink let's go and see what steve's looking at because he's got his camera out so it obviously looks interesting up here but yeah this is we're doing a bit of exploring now just to see what we can find oh excuse me while i climb up here oh. yeah looking good looking right good and you can see all the quarry behind me as well which is pretty impressive well, i'm gonna have a quick nose of that one up there because it looks bright and nice and then we're gonna go the other direction okay i've got another shot set up i've got another shot set up and it's an absolute peach really like this. it's got a little bit of man-made to it because there's some it look like old telegraph poles or something but they're definitely old stumps of wood that's obviously been put in at some point to stop um the water flow or something or to hold the hold the ground back or something there's lots of metal spikes in the ground as well around here um but they've got this really cracking waterfall at the bottom uh, it's rushing over and there's a nice little plunge pool and that and all sorts of froth going on and then it leads up in between the reeds and as you look up into the back left hand you know left hand thirds of the image you get the extra waterfall leading up and then it's got this crescent of this hillside all the slate and the rock and the boulders but it's it's lit from the foreground which is lit from me because the sun's behind me as you can see and behind it's a really really dark sky and it just looks absolutely fantastic and the one that works for me is the one that's one stop underexposed and for some reason that dark the darkness of all the water and the darkness of all the shadows looks really good with the speculated highlight really really cool really really like that and it's oh, what a shame i missed that there was like a i'll try there's like a, a rim light on the top the shadows sort of almost like the clouds almost in front of it and it's just a rim light Let's see if that one came out. It's a two second time, you don't always get it, do you? Yeah, no, they're, they're, they are looking fantastic. Really nice, really pleased with them with these dark clouds. I'm not actually in the slate quarry, are we? We're playing with waterfalls now, but 
I'm pleased we've come up this far and we had the rainfall last night because it's made these look really good. And I'm sure this video is getting longer and longer now. Right, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna catch up with Steve, have a bit of a nose, see if we can find the reservoir, which might be up the back there, but I don't, I don't suppose we'll be able to get to it. But we'll have a look anyway, and I'll chat to you in a little while when we find something different. Now, I'm gonna to have to end this video here because my Osmo is getting a little bit low. I'm gonna get the drone up though. I'm gonna have five minutes with the drone, have a bit of a play while we're up this end. Just to buzz it around these hills. It's quite windy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm gonna end this video on a little bit of drone footage and a couple of photographs of these nice buildings. I've got this nice bit of old rusty iron. Uh, there's a little bit of metal work around. So I'm gonna try and find some bits of metal work and just put those against the slate. So we've got the nice oranges against the nice gray slate and uh, green background. So I'm gonna finish off with them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do check out Steve's channel. It's well worth having a look because he gets to some uh, really good places. He's just recently done, well, he's done loads. He's done everything. Just have a look. It's well worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish off with this. Like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. Love reading your comments. I always do my best to answer everybody. And uh, if you've got a location for me that you think I'd like, let me know. Please let me know. Or if you know where I can park my van, a nice location where I can park up my van for the night and enjoy the scenery. Again, please let me know. Love to hear from you. Um, yeah, till next time. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, enjoy this last few minutes. So I'm playing with another shot at the moment and uh, I'm just trying to make it work and I've got this nice old engine component whatever it is it's, uh, it's pretty spectacular really good piece of metal work to work with and I'm using it as a leading line I think I think I've got it I think I've got it I've got it from the bottom left hand corner that's better now I've got it Got it from the bottom left hand corner i think this one works uh, i took two i've taken one slightly in front of it and now i'll come to the side of it a little bit and i think the leading line works a lot better from where i am now I'm bracketing because the clouds are puffy between grays and whites and blues and the sun's out at the moment side lighting and everything giving these nice dramatic shadows all the windows in the building are, are quite um sticking out as well they look really good so uh, yes all in all fantastic little image really really good do love this i've not been up to this part of the quarry before and i'm really pleased that i've managed to walk up here and have a little look again i've got another shot i've zoomed in a bit more so it's giving me a bit more to get a bit closer to the buildings not a lot of breathing room on the left hand side but nevertheless leading line from the bottom left Sorry, a bit close to you there, aren't I? But yeah, no, really, really good. Um, thoroughly enjoying this. All the time in the world, I can do what I want. And uh, yeah, <laughs> getting some pretty good images. I think I might even get myself a selfie sat on this because it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if it works as well as a horizontal because of the length of it. Actually, yes, it does. I'm going to quickly crack this get that quickly before the light goes back uh, we've, got, oh, we've got quite a big patch of blue at the moment so we're all right so i'm gonna put these couple of shots up for you have a look at them tell me what you think and uh yeah i'm i like <laughs> i like steve's off somewhere i don't know where steve's gone he's he's recce and he's done all this bit because i had the drone up as you saw before i had my drone up playing so this is me catching up with myself now taking a few photographs now, i did check out earlier on but i changed my mind and come back on again so i just thought that 
these images are too nice not to. Really good, I like that. Proper, proper, proper good stuff. I've already checked out once and if I couldn't get rid of the first time I checked out depending on how I've edited, edited this video I'm going to check out again now so I'm going to end it here on this last image this is the uh, an archway beautiful little archway I've got a few shots of it in different angles um, but this is my final one I'm just waiting for a that last little bit of light last little gap so I can end the video on this last image um, enjoyed myself up here it's been really good I've seen a few different things I don't normally haven't normally seen uh, Steve just said it's really good, we've had a good day, we're going to make our way up now and have a look up there uh, so I won't be able to film that because the battery's nearly dead anyway um, brilliant, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, please leave us a comment, love reading your comments this is a beautiful little shot once this is finished, I've had some crackers, really had some crackers, the beautiful oranges of the rust and everything like that, it's been really really nice so yeah, I'm going to say ciao for now, see you soon, don't forget got to get out and shoot use your camera and I say get yourself an electric bike you get up here no problem it's a lot easier than walking I just had to switch you back on just to show you this last final view. I don't think we're going any higher, but this is amazing! <laughs> so just to finish this video off, I've given Steve my camera who's up there, and I've come down here to get myself a selfie without trying to get blown off. <laughs> this is how you do it, living the life.